when most people hear about pharmacy what comes to people's mind is that pharmacy is a profession that deals only with the dispensing of drugs to my surprise even most new students and aspirants of this course have the same perspective in this video i met a pharmacy undergraduate finalist who happens to be the president of the pharmaceutical association of nigerian students university of Meduguri chapter shed light on what studying pharmacy and the profession is all My about my name is Gaji Usman I'm the president of the pharmacy student university of Meduguri what many people don't seem to know is that pharmacy is a faculty in the university with different departments and undergraduate students of this course must pass through each and every department How many before graduation department we have on the pharmacy as a course yeah we have six departments okay we have the pharmacology and toxicology where you study the effect of drugs in the body we have and also the effect of the body on the drugs yes then you have the clinical pharmacy and administration where it has to do with the hospital practice and community practice then you have the pharmaceutical technology where you formulate drugs those are the laboratories there you formulate drugs you mix drugs make tablets capsules suspensions ointments and so on that's the industrial aspect you have the pharmaceutical microbiology where you do the uh, antibiotics resistance um, sensitivity test resistance tests and so on and so forth then we have um, we have pharmacognosy which has to do with plants you get plants and you know explore the potentials in terms of medicinal value of the plant the last one is pharmaceutical chemistry pharmaceutical chemistry is where you mix um, you know medication you do extraction you do a lot of things yeah you have six departments, six departments. now there is this perspective that a lot of people have about pharmacy the pharmacy is a course that only deals with probably dispensing and compounding of drugs so is that really what pharmacy is and then pharmacy you know hospital the hospital setting is a teamwork where a lot of uh, different health professionals will come together and uh, work together for the betterment of the patients so pharmacies as a health practitioner is there to um, you know identify drug therapy problems when you know the physician will be responsible for making the prescription and then the pharmacist who is responsible for issuing the drug will now see if that particular drug is suitable for the patient is the patient having other issues or is there any uh, additional drug that the patient might not need is the drug cost, cost effective is it safe for the patient is there interactions is there side effects all these are the questions that the pharmacist must ask, ask before dispensing that, those medications and we do cancel it because patients you know it's not every ailment that requires medication uh, sometimes you see that uh, somebody might be seriously ill and all the person needs is just counseling lifestyle modification exercise diet modification nutritional modification and so on and so forth and these are all services in the pharmacy yeah. one of the things i do hear students of pharmacy say is that pharmacy is hard to study in the university if this is true then why with the clinical you know uh, attachment as well as the practical you know we do as you can see we have a lot of laboratories, laboratories here. Yes, so exactly. we are moving from one lab to the, to other, the other one lab to the other every day so that time two to five is always a laboratory okay. activity and from morning seven to one is lectures so you can just imagine from morning from seven to one you're having lectures after you know taking a lunch from one to two, two, two you proceed from two to five in the laboratory and you go home and start reporting some of the reports you take six hours eight hours doing one report of one laboratory activity and you have to reference your work, reference your work. so you can imagine the time constraint that is associated with uh, studying pharmacy i can remember during my 200 level you know um we are together with um, the uh, allied health sciences uh, as a pharmacy student in addition to the courses they offer we are offering additional, additional. Uh, i think four or five courses just imagine uh, as a highlight health student your health colleagues are offering just anatomy and physiology you in addition to the anatomy and physiology mm -hmm. you are offering another extra five courses yes. you can compare the stress yes. you know it's quite obvious obvious that pharmacy is, is really hard. Is. that pharmacy is hard to study in the university how about the social life of the student of pharmacy right. so it's it like me 
when you are when you go to study pharmacy in some ways you forget about the social life <laughs> yes you can't i can say you can't um do the two together okay. because most people do complain that we don't um, reply to their messages we don't do that we don't call them and so on you, you can see our we just know ourselves in the faculty okay? there are friends that are in the faculty you know our aunties and every everything and most 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 of the time you see that uh, pharmacy will be marrying the pharmacy Almost. because we don't know that students in the <laughs> campus from two to five years in the laboratory how will you go to field team for sports it's not time and in the evening you are exhausted you can't watch you can't watch you sleep you do report and you sleep but how interesting is the course pharmacy is interesting in that um, once you identify yourself as a pharmacy student you'll be well respected in the campus yes by just saying that I'm a pharmacy student, student, everybody will know that you are a very hard working student, not an ordinary student. Uh, pharmacy is well respected, so there's this pride that I'm a pharmacy student. student. And it's interesting, most of the things we do in pharmacy is practical. We see it with our own eyes. Yes, you go to the laboratory, you do mix this, mix these drugs, and you formulate your drugs. You see you are making a tablet. It's not a hallucination. <laughs> yes, you are seeing it physical. Yeah. So not not see. not just a cost that you do calculation. Yes, yes. And yeah. you don't even know. What Here we <laughs> do the calculation and we arrive arrive at a conclusion. conclusion. And that conclusion we take it into the laboratory oh, and practicalize it. it. You said it earlier in this video that ph uh, pharmacy as a course is hard to study in the university. Mm. So now, how do you manage to 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 combine politics? On campus and and, and pharmacy as a hard post to study. Actually, it's it's not easy. It has been very tough. Number one, number one is interest. Yes, I have a, I developed interest in politics right when I was in secondary school. I participated in a lot of clubs, associations, and so on. So when I came into the university, I started um, this administrative and leadership activities right when I was in hundred level. So I call myself the leader of the class and you know, all that. I tend to participate in activities that has to do uh, with helping students, colleagues, assisting them where possible. I'm the kind of person that when I set a goal, I just ensure that uh, I see it to the end. I ensure that it succeeds. So it has been very tough for me. It has been very, very uh, not easy. But Alhamdulillah, it's uh, the help of God Almighty were able to do even better than the students of other departments, departments who have the luxury of all the time they needed to do one of those things. What are the key advice, like the key, maybe two or three things you can say to ever want to be a student of pharmacy like it and want to be at the same time our politician on campus? Yes, number one, you have to set priorities. Yes. What do you want to be in life? If you want to be an academician, literally you don't need to uh, do involve in student politics. Right. Yes, if you want to go into leadership after school, you have to start right from the university, undergraduate level. You start, make your priorities, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to do. After that, now you now start participation right from your junior classes. You start participation so that the higher student, higher class students will get to know you, they know your skills and capabilities and so on. From there, you get the exposure. So when you come up, you now have the skills and experience you desire to. And then you have to be very focused. You can't, uh, you know, you can't mix up uh, your, your academics, which is your primary assignment in the university, and uh, unionism. You have to set goals. At this point, I want to do this. At this point, I want to do this. As you can see, as I am uh, right now, I can decide to say, okay, these two days, anything that has to do with uh, pants, or leadership or whatever, I will not attend to it. I will just focus my uh, academics. During the exams, I don't do any, anything that has to do. Once you mention pants, I will just delete you. <laughs> yeah, so that you know interrupts my so, academics. Okay. So you have to be focused, you have to be determined, you have to be goal-oriented. Yeah, very important. Very important. You have to set priorities. So um, let me ju let's just make uh, this the end of this video. So I really say thank you to you. So thank you for or oh, answering my call. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to like and share this video. See you in another interesting one. Bye for now.